Now, the unplanned ones, of course, start early, early for a little Gestalt processor. And that they are unintelligible, to us anyway, is part of the difficulty uh, for this child um, because no one's helping him to mitigate, but also part of why we don't know a lot about echolalia because it does pass under the radar for most of our neurotypical Gestalt language processors. We don't know a lot about it in child development until it's so delayed and we understand it so well that we say it's just one of those things with autism and we need to, you know, get rid of it or replace it with something or give this child some survival language or some scripts. Now for Charlie, he used the very same utterance every single time he was on top of our loft. Look, there's a hole down there. Sometimes he seemed kind of happy about it. Sometimes he didn't seem kind of happy about it. So this was what we did. To pick some language models, we had to preempt Charlie saying it because after he said it, it would be too late. So a, a language model by virtue of its name and intention matches an intention and is the language a child hears at the moment he's looking for some language. So what did we try? Let's try the word look and see if that's something that he can mitigate out from his original gestalt. Look at that, it's cool. I wanna look through the hole. I wanna look, not fall, take a look at that. Or if we wanted to isolate down there, I gotta get down there. I love looking down there. It's so cool down there. It's not scary down there. The example with Sam is one that we actually did in real life. Um, it's not just hypothetical. We had to preempt this particular gestalt that Sam would say every single time he wanted to move from one place to another. So we took the let's out of it and tried to preempt his saying of his gestalt and said, let's run, let's get out of here, let's find the bricks, let's all go together. And we actually took this as well. Come on, I'll race you. Come on, everybody. Jesse, come on. Hey, everybody, come on. If a child is of elementary age, like we say, and you're getting started with the process like he's never mitigated before, you still have time. You have time to work on mitigation. And Let's just say that a child never really gets to a lot of grammar. What can he do with his mitigations? He can mix and match. And that's what Temple Grandin said, is that she could mix and match and express lots.